Now for the most fun part. This is where I was the most influenced. Hi friends, I hope you're doing well. Today I wanted to sit down and try out some of the makeup that I recently bought. Listen, I feel like Sophia Richie had us all in a chokehold during her wedding, which happened a few weeks ago now. And um, her makeup artist posted what she used. I fell for everything and bought her lip combo that she used in her wedding day. <laughs> so that's part of like the inspo here. I also have a couple of nude sticks products that she used on the cheek. I'm not gonna be like recreating her wedding look necessarily, but I wanna try the products that she used on her for her wedding. Also, I have things like this right here, the Lisa Eldridge Seamless Skin Skin Enhancing Mist. This is what I bought with the cleanser, which I've already tried and loved, but I haven't tried this yet. So I was like, okay, let me throw this in here too. I'm pretty sure you can use it before and after makeup. So we're gonna start with this. I love Lisa Eldridge. She can do no wrong in my eyes. Here's the packaging. It's actually like a tin or aluminum container. I'm gonna give it a shake. Ooh, very fine mist. Okay, I'm gonna start with this. It doesn't have a fragrance, which is actually nice. Oh my gosh, do you know what? I ended up buying something from Chanel. It's a makeup product, okay, a lipstick. And then I added a little perfume sample to my cart and I sprayed it. Guys, back in the day, I was at a department store somewhere and I tried a sample of Chanel number no. five. It's like an iconic fragrance, right? Or at least you hear about it all the time. So I wanted to try it. And I was like probably 16 or 17 and I did not like how it smelled. I just got a sample. It smells so good to me now. <laughs> Does that mean I'm getting older? I don't know, I, I really like it. I feel like, I don't know, I really like it. I think it's so funny how like things can change like that and our taste can change. I'm just going straight in with my foundation. I decided to use my NARS Light Reflecting. I just want something very fresh, very skincare feeling and that's what this foundation is to me, especially for the weekend, you know? I'm kind of, you know, even though I'm not recreating her look, I'll be honest, I'm gonna kind of have the same vibe just something fresh. It's not necessarily bridal though. So no guarantees to last through a wedding day, you know, if you were to follow along, but I just had to. Anyway, I keep smelling myself. It smells so good. It makes me want to explore more Chanel fragrances. I actually, I used to use Chanel Chance in high school and I loved that stuff. It was actually gifted to me by my very first boyfriend <laughs> and nice gift, huh? But truly it's like such a good scent. So I know I like Chanel fragrances, at least I used to like that one, but now I'm like, I need to smell more. I think I got a sample of Coco Mademoiselle, or hmm, I can tell you when I open it. I can't remember exactly what it is, but if you have a favorite Chanel fragrance, would you tell me in the comments? Because now I'm like very intrigued. Okay, I'm gonna use the Prism Libra Skin Caring Concealer from Givenchy. This is super good. And again, something that feels just kind of fresh on the skin, we'll apply our blemishes like that, and then just blend it out with my sponge. I'm gonna use my Milk Makeup Bronzer Stick, and I'm gonna just warm this up on the back of my hand like this. This is in the shade Toasted, by the way. And then I'm just gonna take a brush and kind of stipple this around the skin. I'm going for a more fresh vibe, so I don't want to like draw the contour directly onto my face. I'd rather kind of place it where I want it with a brush. Tell you what, I'm a sucker for lip products. It's crazy because I have so many and every time I see somebody do a lip look that I like, I don't know why I don't think to just recreate it with something that I already have. For some reason when it comes to lip, I have to like have the exact color. <laughs> I don't know, that's just me maybe, but that's what happened to me. So I saw Patti DeBruff, her makeup artist, post about you know the look that she did on her wedding day and I was like, I, I have to have the lip combo. And unfortunately it included something Chanel, but I, you know, I justified it. So here we are. Okay, so one thing I know she did do is she used the Nude Sticks Nudies Matte All Over Bronze Color in the shade Sun Kissed on the cheeks. I actually already have this, so I'm gonna take this on the back of my hand as well and just kind of warm this up. And I'm gonna take a brush with this and I'm just gonna kind of start stippling this on the back of the cheeks. This is a color that's supposed to make it look like you got a little bit sunburnt or sun-kissed, I guess I should say, which is why it's called that. I'm honestly gonna kind of apply this all over and maybe across the nose a bit. You know, even though this isn't technically a recreation, I'm gonna grab another product that I know she used. And that is this right here, the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer. I have mine in the shade Light. 
First of all, actually, that sun-kissed color is so pretty. Why have I not been using this like on the daily? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna take some of this. I'm just gonna add a little bit more. I guess I probably didn't need to do this since I already have the milk makeup one on, but I just wanna use what she used, okay? And we're gonna go across like the chin, along the jaw a little bit as well for more of like a soft sculpted look. This is actually looking so pretty already. I'm excited. And then she used, and this is actually, this gave me a reason to buy this. I wanted to try this for a long time. So this was a collaboration with Nude Sticks from Alana Davison, who I love watching on YouTube. She used this on Sophia Richie on her wedding day. How cool is that? This is the shade Picante. It's another Nudie's Matte All Over Face Blush Stick, and it's like this gorgeous orangey red. Ah, I'm so excited. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this on the back of my hand like that because I just don't really wanna overdo it with this color. I'm just gonna pick that up on the same brush and apply this to like the apples of the cheeks. It's fun because normally when you think of wedding day makeup, I feel like it usually leans more pink when it comes to blush, at least in my experience. But this is really cute to do a little like orangey coral bronzy type of a feel. I feel like these colors look very natural which is like Sophia Richie's vibe, you know? She's very much a your skin but better kind of a makeup look gal. So that's looking really cute. So I don't have some of like the eye crayons that she used. Um, let's see, what could I use? Well, you know what? I might just take a little bit of Sunkissed, which is that same nude sticks color. And I'm just gonna run that through the crease of the eye and a little bit underneath the eye as well. She used a more like cool tone color, but again, this is not gonna be an identical recreation. I'm just taking some inspo. So now I'm gonna take a bit of powder. I actually bought this a while ago and wanted to revisit it. It's the NARS Soft Matte Advanced Perfecting Powder. I got mine in the shade Cliff. And I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of tap that into the areas that I want less shine. So for me, underneath the eyes to set through the T-zone, the tip of the nose, you know what, let me try it with a powder puff. I didn't try that last time, I don't think. Just to kind of smooth out and brighten the T-zone a bit. I'm gonna go in the middle of the forehead too, but I kind of want to leave the outside of the face bare just because, you know, it's the weekend. I don't need to have anything too, you know, long lasting. I just kind of want like a chill vibe. So I'm also throwing a little bit of powder through the brows. And let's see. I'm just gonna fill in the brows with my Benefit Brow Pencil. I'm gonna take a little bit of like a golden color, this shade right here from the Nabla Read My Mind palette. I know she used some sort of a gold shadow. I don't want too, too much on the eyes though. So we're just gonna keep it real simple. I'm not gonna do much more than that, but that's actually a really pretty shade. I know for a fact she used the Maybelline Lash Sensational. She did use the waterproof one, but this is like my favorite drugstore mascara. So I was thrilled to see or use it on her wedding day. This is turning out to be like way more of a recreation than I anticipated, but I, I don't have like a reference photo, so I can't tell you how accurate I'm being. I just wanted to kind of use the general products that she used and kind of mimic the same aesthetic. It's been a long time since I've worn just like one gold eyeshadow. I feel like I used to do that a lot like several years ago, but now I discovered cool tones, I think is what happened. But these warm tones are so cute for summer. Listen, so here's a tragedy. I ended up buying the Dibs Medium, which is the shade, um, the lip liner in the shade Medium. I should say it like that, because that's what she used. And guess who lost it? Me. So <laughs> I'm gonna use the um, Anastasia Deep Taupe, which to me feels kind of similar. I did try it on before I lost it. Well, this is actually a little more rosy than the Dibs one. The, the Dibs one's more like beige. And I'm not exactly sure how she did the lip combo. I just know what product she used. And I bought the Nude Sticks Intense Matte Lip and Cheek Pencil in the shade Sunkissed Nude, which looks so pretty. So I'm actually gonna take this and kind of line like the outside of the lips with that. And then I'm just blending it in with my finger. Okay, now for the most fun part, Chanel. This is where I was the most influenced. I only bought one thing. It's the Rouge Coco Balm Hydrating Beautifying Tinted Lip Balm in the shade Pink Delight. This is apparently what she used. 
on her wedding day. And I thought that the packaging was just so pretty. So, nothing better than a fresh lipstick. I love like the corally peachy tones that she went for. So, let's go ahead and try it. I'm just gonna kind of pop that in the center of the lips. Cute, okay, it's very subtle, very comfortable, which honestly for a wedding day, I wouldn't be mad at because this would be able to wear off or be reapplied really easily. It's like a glorified lip balm, but the color is what I wanted. It's really pretty, I really like that. While I'm here, before I forget, let me take a peek -sees at my perfume samples. Okay, so yeah, I got Chanel number no. five and then Coco Mademoiselle, but I haven't tried that one yet. All right, let's assess the situation a little bit. I'm gonna add just a bit more bronzer with what's left on the brush. Honestly, this is such a pretty makeup look. It's very, very, very fresh. I'm all about it. I do feel like I need a little something, something. Just in like the crease of the eye. Hmm, let's go ahead and take this brown shade in the same Naba palette. I just feel like I need a brown. So I'm just gonna kind of add a tiny bit of that to the crease and I'm gonna smoke out the lower lash line just a bit with that as well. Oh boy, here I go. Now I'm taking the same gold and popping that across the lower lash line too. Just wanted more, a little more on the eyes. Now I know she used like a balmy kind of a highlighter, but I'm just gonna take my Tom Ford shade and illuminate one. This is the one that I've been using all over the face, but I also really love it as an inner corner highlight. And then of course, as like an actual highlight. So I'm just gonna take the top color and just pop that on the very high points of the face for an extra little glow. I want a little more of the sun-kissed color. I'm just like, why have I had this for so long? And I've used it, but like, why have I not like used it, used it again? I want more of it. So I'm just gonna add that to like the sides of the face for even more of a sun-kissed kind of a glow, maybe right here a little bit. I just love the color. Taking my powder puff one more time and just kind of going through the T-zone and then I'm gonna set the brows. Well, first, let's lock it in with the Lisa Eldridge Mist. I feel like I'm gonna have to have a little bit of time with this to like see how it compares to my other makeup mists. I don't think it's supposed to be super long lasting or anything like that. I think it's supposed to just kind of refresh the skin. I'm just taking my sponge and pressing that into the skin. And then I'm gonna set the brows with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel, which I just barely tried out the other day and really liked, so I wanted to give it another go. I feel like this has been people's favorite brow gel for forever, I just never tried it. Better late than never, I guess. All right, so that completes this makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me use some of the things that I recently bought um, because I was very influenced by Sophia Richie's wedding, okay? But I have to say, this actually looks so pretty, especially for summer. It's so like polished and put together, but feels like me still and just feels good. Like, I really like this vibe. I feel like for me personally, I would go with a little more for a wedding look, but that's just me. But I know a lot of people that would really enjoy something like this. Again, this is not necessarily a recreation, so I cannot tell you that this will last through a wedding with the products that I used. But with that being said, I really love the vibe in general, and I feel like it's a great summer go-to. If you have some sort of like an event or even just like a brunch, you could wear this anywhere. I feel like. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments down below if you've tried any of these things and if you were just as influenced as I was, okay? I would love to hear from you. I really, really love this. So I hope you guys love it as much as I do. And I hope you guys have an amazing day wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Love you, bye.